Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to remove a form control from a form array in reactive forms. I have discussed about how to add a dynamic form control into a form array in our previous video. Please watch before continuing this. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created all this ng for with the form controls and these form controls have the default values as two values that is one form control and two form control and we are trying to loop them inside a ng for which is inside a div and here we are rendering the input fields whatever we want to show in and uh, we also added one more button called as add form control what this will do is it will try to add the form controls into our form array so now in this video, we will learn how to remove a form control. Before going to that, let me go into a demo what we have implemented before. Let me go here and reload. And now let me click on add form control. You can see this, how many times I'm clicking on this button, that many times we are getting this form control, that many times we are adding our form control into our form array. In the same way, now I'll try to add a delete button for each and every field. When I click that button, it has to delete. And now I'm going here and let me go to input field and, be, and after this input field, let me create a button. Button and for this button, let me give a delete icon. So whenever a form control is triggered, then my delete icon will also be beside the input field go here so you can see two input fields and when i click on add new form control one more delete icon or delete button has been rendered with this list so let me go back and now what i want to do is when the user click on this delete button then that particular form control should be deleted from our form array so now let me go and create a method called as remove form control so this is my method and it will not return anything. Let me use void and here this dot cities dot remove it. There is a method called as remove it over the form array. Now for this remove it, we have to pass the index value. What is the index value? The button which was clicked that particular index we have to send it to our method called as remove form control and it is of type number. Why? Because always the index will have a type as number let me save this and go here let me copy this remove form control go to html and over the click event whenever i click this delete button this method has to be called and this should be having a parameter like i that means that means a index value when we click on this this index value will be passed into my method and that index will be removed from my array so let me go to the browser clear it off and reload now what i am trying to do is let me add some more controls and let me add hyderabad and sikindrabad hapsi guda something like delhi so we have added all these type of strings inside our form controls and now let me click on this get array we are getting all the values i just want to delete one of this parameter let me go and delete this sikindrabad so let me click on the delete now that particular index has been deleted and we have the remaining controls but if you observe whenever i am deleting a form control that is not affecting whole form array values that means remaining form controls are not getting affected the values will get persisted in that form control let me click on get array values now we got hyderabad hapsiguda and delhi so these are the three different strings after deleting a particular form control in my form array let me delete delhi and click on this get array values now you are getting hyderabad and hapsiguda and also there is one more parameter which is an optional parameter for remove it that is an object inside this object there is something called as event emit or emit event so this will take a boolean value whether true or false by default the value is true now i am trying to pass false why we are using this particular emit event emit event why we will be using is before going to understand that emit event we have already know about the value changes property for a form control now what we can use is cities dot value changes that means whenever there is a change happen to these cities then it will be having an observable which can be subscribed and now i'll be getting a callback functions and inside this callback function just like i'm handling the response and console dot log of response so 
let us understand this without a emit event or we can use something like a default value true whenever we don't give emit event that will be treated as true if we want to make it externally false we have to make it for now i'm making it as true now go here and clear it off now whenever i click on the delete icon then this particular value changes will be called this will be the default behavior of a form array so clear it off and click here if you see here we got one array that means the remaining values of this particular array are rendered here for example let me add one more control add one more control you can see whenever we are pushing that particular form control into an array even though value changes are triggered let me clear it off and give hyderabad hapsi guda and chikbar okay let me clear it off and now whenever i click this delete icon you can see hyderabad and sikindrabad that means the form is returning a value which is holding the values of existing form controls that means these two are existing form controls and it is returning the two values and if you go here and change this emit event to false so in this case what happens whenever we are pushing it the value changes will be called let me click on this we got three form controls and let me give hyderabad apsiguda delhi and let me clear it off now if i click on delete icon that value changes will not be triggered let me click on this value changes not triggered and when i click on the get array values you got only two values that means whenever there is a emit event which is false then that particular event will not be rendered in your value changes so whenever we are using remove it it depends on the developer if you want to use emit event or not if we are calling emit event then that emit event will be calling your value changes otherwise the subscription will not be happened and this subscription will not be rendered so let me use one variable to store this sample data is equal to some array of or you can use strings as well so let me give the type and by default the value will be empty array so this one and let me store this value here inside this dot sample data is equal to response so now this sample data will be containing the values after the change of a form array hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you